Hey guys, Dominic here. I'm going to teach you a short, quick little rifle routine for color guard. Um, it's a very easy beginner color guard routine. It's not set to any music. If you find any music that you think it works with, go ahead and send me a video. Have fun with it. Um, we're going to be tossing a single at the end, so it's not going to be like doubles or triples or anything too high. It's not going to be a seven. Um, but if you do feel like you can toss a double or a triple, or if it just works with whatever music you find that this routine works with, go ahead and feel free to do that. Um, I'm going to be doing the routine three different times. The first time I'm just going to be going through it, telling you what count it is, where our feet are, where our hands are on the rifle. The second time I'm going to be going through it count by count with maybe a short little description of what we're doing at that point. And then the third time I'm just going to go through it. I'm not going to give any description or what we're doing, just go through it. Hopefully that by that time you have learned it. If you haven't, you're more than welcome to pause the video and rewind it and go back and see what you've missed. So I hope you enjoy this little routine um, and have fun with it. So our first count, or actually our starting position, is going to be like this. So to get in that position, you're going to put your right hand on the butt and you're going to put your left hand on the tip. And you're just going to hold it flat like a tray. So you don't want to think of it as like, oh, I'm showing the gun, I'm holding it flat as a tray, all right? So then your feet are going to go into a left back coupe. So your left foot is going to be in coupe behind your right foot, all right? So for count one, or this is a starting position, but for count one, we're going to do a nice lunge down. And you want to make sure this is a nice lunge, not a little tiny lunge. You want to make sure this is a nice big lunge. We want to travel with this. So then... Uh, our gun is just going to stay flat like a tray, it's not going to move anywhere. So we're just going to do a lunge out for count one. For count two, our right foot is going to rendezvous on over here. So as our right foot rendezvous, we want to make sure it's a nice big rendezvous. That's why we're doing this big lunge, so we have this big rendezvous. Because it's a nice flashy thing. We're not doing this small little rendezvous. And we're not sliding our foot through. We want to make sure this is a nice rendezvous now. So while we do that rendezvous, the rifle is going to just come up to this angle. And to get this angle, you're just going to stick your right arm out and your left arm up. And you're just going to go out as far as you can, and it's going to get that nice angle. Alright? We're not going to stop here, so don't worry if you don't hit that angle exactly. Um, but just try to hit that angle as much as possible. So we're out here for count two. And for count three, we're going to bring our left foot, we're going to twist our body, and bring our left foot through. Alright? So count three, twist our body, left foot through. Now with the rifle, we're going to be going over our head as we twist our body, and come down, and our left foot's going to go through. And we're just in that same position we were in earlier, except with our left arm out and our right arm up. Alright? So then for count four, we're just going to twist our body again, bring the right foot down, and it's like if we're pushing against the wall. So this is count four. Count five, we're going to bring the right foot in front of us. And count six, we're going to bring our feet together and do a little butt toss. So for this butt toss, you want to have your hand on the butt, of course, and you're just going to twist it around enough so that it kind of flips in the air. And it's just a little tiny flip, and you're going to try to aim to grab right around here where your strap meets your rifle. And you just, it's just a little tiny flip and grab. And our left arm is just going to stand up. So we're here at four, five, six. So on six is when our feet come together, not at five. That's at six, all right? So at six, we do that little butt toss. Left hand stays up. Seventh count. We're going to come down into our plie. And our left hand is going to catch up the butt, like we're going to do another butt toss. But we're going to be in our plie. Make sure this is a nice deep plie. This is not a stick our butt out, this is just a plie. Alright? And so we're going to do a wrist roll, count seven. Or no, count, count eight. So eight, and grab it back. And our left arm is going to come up. So to do this little wrist roll, it is a little tricky because our arm is so out. Um, if you have trouble with this, you can grab a little deeper in when you do your butt toss, so that it's a little deeper in, so you can do your wrist roll easier. Um, I just, I prefer that you keep it out here. Um, and so you, 
to do this for scroll, you're going to push up a little bit with your left hand and not drop it. Don't push too much so that it flies out of your hand when you do your wrist roll. Just enough that it flicks so that it does that wrist roll. So it's just a wrist roll to eight. Just count eight. And eight is a pass through count. We're not going to stop here because we're going to go and what. So we're just doing a little backhand after eight and what. So that's why we keep our arm up so that it's eight and one. So that we have a nice down to catch at one. And at one, you want to make sure it's just a small lunge, nothing too big like earlier, just a small lunge. So count one is flat. Count two, we're going to bring our left foot up into passe, and the right hand is going to go out. So you want to make sure that you bring this up into passe, and the rifle goes out. We're going to look at our rifle as we do that too. So count two is here. Three, we're going to come back down to flat in a plie, and then. We also want to make sure this is also a nice deep plie. We're not sticking our butt out. It's just the plie. Count four. Our rifle's going to come up. And we're going to put our hand right where our hand was earlier. And we're going to go into fourth position with our feet. So we're going to go up here in fourth position. And then our left oh, arm yeah. is going to move out. So we're going to go three, four. Actually, I'll right. So here for fifth, our left arm is going to come out, and our left foot is going to come out, and we're going to go down into a plie. So it's two, three, four, five. Actually, I'm sorry, I'm wrong on that. So for fifth position, we're going to come out and down. So to do this, out. So this is going to reach flat. When we reach flat, we're twisting it. And it's going to come down so that our hand can do a backhand. We're just going to do a little backhand. But it's not going to be like a too big of a backhand. It's just going to be backhand catch for six. So it's a flow through count as well. So we've got three, or two, three, four, five, and then for six, we're just going to do our backhand and six. Now for a six position, or a six count, you want to make sure that you're facing this way when you catch. So to do that, you want to do your backhand and bring your right foot on another rendezvous out. And our legs are going to be kind of awkward because this one's going to be like turned out this way, but this one's going to be turned out for this way. And it's going to be awkward, but don't worry, we'll fix it the next count. Um, and you want to grab at the neck when you catch. So it's just a little here, here, if we were facing this way. But we're going to change our facing so that it's here. Seventh count, we're going to come down into flat. Our right hand's going to be over instead of under, like, or on the butt like it usually would be. But we're going to fix that, don't worry. So seven, eight. Now we fix it, and now we're at true flat. And then... Counts one and two, this is where we're going to do our single. Or if you feel like you can do a double, go ahead. And if you feel adventurous and that you can do a triple, you're going to dip, triple, catch. And that's the routine. Um, we're going to go through it again, count by count. Um, and hopefully you learned it. Feel free to rewind it at any point to look back at the instructions I've given you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a question in the comments section below. I'm free to answer any questions. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go through it two more times. So, starting position. Count one, two, round on out. Three through, four wall. Five front, six butt toss, seven plie, eight wrist roll, and one flat. Two, passe, three plie. Fourth position, five, backhand, six. Seven, long, flat, eight, fix it, one, two, three. And I threw a double there. Um, feel free to throw a single. Like I said, it's more meant for a single because it's easy beginner work. Uh, but don't don't be afraid if you can do a double, go ahead and do a double. All right, so I'm gonna do it at full speed. Um, like I said, this doesn't have a song to do it to. Find a song, feel free to send me a video. All right, five, six, Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. Two. All right. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the routine. Um, send videos of you doing the routine. Or if you find music to do it, like I said, send videos. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a question down in the comment section below. Um, also feel free to rewind the video at any point to look over some other work that you need. Um, I'll be posting more videos soon of different color guard routines. Um, comment down what you want to see below. If you want to see an advanced flag or advanced rifle or um, anything of the sorts. I'm not very good at dance, but I'm willing to open to do some dance routines for people. Um, and I also don't have a saber, so I won't be able to do any saber routines. Sorry about that. Um, hopefully I'll be getting one soon, though. So, enjoy. Have a nice day.